So welcome back. So I just googled uh, Postman Chrome and I got this guy right here. Now we're going to use Postman for actually faking these HTTP requests. If you guys remember, we talked about sending data over the wire as HTTP request responses, right? And these small guys that we sent back and forth, we can make Postman write these instead of actually having to build the full UI to try them out. So this is kind of like an easy way for us to test if our REST API is working by making these requests and then getting some responses back over the wire right here. So what will happen is Postman will make a request, maybe a GET request, it'll go up here, it'll send it through the REST API, that'll grab data from the data access layer, that'll pull it from the database, send it back as C-sharp objects, convert it into JSON, and then send it into Postman to show us. So that's what we're going to do. This lesson, let's just install Postman, and next time we'll try and use uh, a create, which is a get uh, sorry, a post request, um, uh, read, which is uh, the get request, uh, an update, which is a put request, and a delete, which is a delete request. So we'll try them all in the next lessons. But let's first of all install Postman here. And um, I, I guess you need Chrome for this, but there are other HTTP request uh, tools out there with, that you can use. But, but I'm just happy to use Postman, so I use this one. I launched the app in my case, but you'll just run an installer and then you'll get in there. It's basic step by step. You don't have to pick anything except the defaults. But the first time it starts up, it asks you to register, but you can actually scroll down and select, I don't want to register, I just want to start now. So don't register, or at least you don't have to, it's up to you. So now you have Postman up and running, and next time we'll try and do our requests and see what we can actually get from our current REST API. See you next time.